Hey Spuddies, Potato Big Whiskey here and welcome to Let's Try Monster Sanctuary. Uh, this is just the demo of the game. The game is currently on Kickstarter, so I would recommend if you're interested in it, quickly go to the Kickstarter and back the game if you want to get it, because I'm super excited for this game and I think it looks wonderful. That's why I'm playing it to show it to you guys. Uh, so the basic premise of the game is that you are kind of like a Pokemon trainer-esque character. You're collect monsters and you train them up and you level them in your battle um, and you're in a sort of metroidvania world which is pretty cool and exciting it's a unique new unique take on the uh, sort of idea so let's go ahead and get started here we'll start an empty slave save slot and we will call ourselves potato i adore this game i love everything about it we're just going to call ourselves potato because the um the the aesthetic really captures like the games from my childhood which i i just love it it just looks amazing um the music is brilliant the gameplay is excellent there are a couple of small little things that i hope will in in the course of a development get cleaned up sometimes the, the platforming can be a little bit floaty and and not as quite as precise or, or feeling quite as nice as it could be but i think overall i'm i'm really impressed by this demo of the game um it lacks most of the features that are going to be in the game as far as i can tell but most of the sort of extra stuff that's going to be in there like the, the basic stuff that you're going to be doing in the game is in you know platforming exploring using monsters um fighting progression storyline all that sort of stuff is kind of implemented but it's, it's only at the beginning now i did already play this demo a little bit and last time i played as the spectral toad and i actually really enjoyed playing as the spectral toad now the spectral toad is like a really tanky um sort of character he has a pretty high health and pretty high defense but i kind of wanted to try out maybe the spectral eagle or the spectral wolf uh yeah let's try out the spectral eagle as my familiar because I, I feel like the spectral eagle is kind of like the opposite of the spectral frog um i'm not really reading the storyline i'm kind of talking about the game a little bit so we're the one small complaint I have is that I, I I can't seem to figure out a way. Oh, here we go. I can skip this. Okay, great. I'm going to name my familiar. I will call him Birdman. Birdman. All right. Name Birdman. Monsters are wild things. The only reason I'm helping you is the bond I share with your family. Most of the monsters are less inclined than me to help you. That is why you must always raise your own monsters. They will grow alongside you just as I will, and they will fight for you. The best way to gain a monster is loyalty is to hatch it from its egg. Of course, you will have to fight it to get to those monster eggs. Look at the blob over there. So we've got a little blob that we are going to go fight. Initiate a fight by contact. We shall see if you live up to your ancestors. So the basic premise of the game is that... Oh... This guy helps me fly. Very cool. So monsters have special abilities uh, in battle and in the overworld. This guy actually gives me the ability to float and fly further. Like if this is a normal jump, right? I get about to here. And then if I do the same thing and float, I get much further. So that's really cool. And different monsters have different abilities that do different things. So each monster can kind of help you out in a different way. Uh, we're going to start combat here. So, uh, monsters have things they are weak to, things they are strong to, they have different stats, they have different uh, abilities, it's really, really cool. Now, I happen to know that this guy is weak to air magic, and these two spells here are air magic. Of course, your, your monsters have basic spells, and you can use items, and you can also check the enemy info. There's a lot you can do. Uh, one of the cool things that I really liked about this game is, we'll show you when the battle is over, actually. So, which one of these does more damage? Uh, looks like Featherstorm might actually do more, although they kind of do about the same. Ouch, he hit me with a bubble burst. And uh, monsters have a certain amount of mana, and they regenerate mana every turn, which I think is really cool. So we'll talk a little bit about this end screen thing here. Uh, what I One of the things I really, really love about this game is the better you perform in a battle the more um points you get at the end which ends up getting you more loot so that's really really cool i really really like that it means basically you're incentivized to not try to delay and 
go slowly because you can see here combat duration I got 5,000 points for completing the battle in two turns um, my healthiness was pretty low so I didn't get many points for that and I didn't do much overkill damage so I didn't get many points for that but you know you can kind of see that if you do these battles quite well you could get a lot of points so we got a blob egg some copper and a little bit of gold our character also got some experience and we received a blob egg and he's going to tell us what to do with it so what we want to do is we want to go into the inventory and we want to select the blob egg and we want to hatch it to receive another monster. And we hatched a blob. We're going to call this guy... Uh, uh, we'll call him Blobbert. How about that? Blob... Blobbert. So now we have another monster that we can we can check his skills. We can look at his inventory and stuff like that. We'll, we'll pay attention to that uh, later. Right now my monster is weak, so I'll need to train it. There is much more for you to learn. You and that blob are quite alike. Keep going on the Keeper's Trail. He's a patient teacher. So we're looking for old Boyan or some... I can't remember his name. Old Bon, old Brawny, or whatever his name is. Um, so here we are. Now we have a second monster, and we can initiate another battle. Boop. Here we go. Let's go ahead and start combat. And I really like the way the battle system works in this game. Um, you have like a team of monsters and you can pick, they all get to act once per turn. So for example, the, uh, let's see, how do I, how do I tell you this? All right, so if I do Arcane Bolt, you can see down the bottom there, it says 4x40. That means if I use the spell, I'm going to do 40 magical damage, uh, 40% of my magical rating four times. Now, what also happens is up in the top left, every time I hit an enemy, I get combo rating, which means my next attack with my next monster will do even more damage, which I think is really, really cool. So you can see that would work quite well with something like Featherstorm. We're going to just use Lightning Bolt, because that'll almost finish this guy off. If we had maybe gotten a couple of crits, we probably would have killed him. And they're going to Arcane Bolt us back, and you can see they also got a plus 25% damage increase. Uh, we are going to do... Uh, do I want to attack with you first? No, I want to attack with you, and I want to do the Arcane Bolt on this guy. And that'll give me some overkill points, and then I'm going to do Lightning Bolt on this guy. Okay, he did an arcane bolt, that's good. If he had done bubble, I might have might have lost my eagle guy, uh, my birdman. And we're just going to do a feather storm to finish him off. And there we go. Really, really nice. And you can see that time we completed in 2.5 turns, so we lost a little bit of score there. But we did have pretty decent healthiness and pretty good overkill damage. And we got a small potion and some gold. And we got a little bit of experience as well, which is always nice. Based on the effectiveness of your combat strategy, you get a rating of 1 to 5 stars. Earning higher rating increases your chances of getting better drops like rare monster eggs. Well, that's pretty fun. Uh, out of curiosity... Yeah. So the, the platforming is one area of the game I'm not a... I'm not... Well, I don't say I'm a huge fan of. I just think it needs a little bit of work. Uh, young Keeper, it is the Keeper's Trail beginning. For all of man, beast, and sanctuary has beginning. Uh, so let's fight these guys. See if we can get uh, an egg off of them. Uh, looks like these guys are weak to fire and water. Now, we don't have any water attacks yet, nor do we... We do have a fire attack, so I might be able to pull off something there. So, if I were to use an explosion on the other guy... I think if I do an arcane bolt here, and then do an explosion on him, I might be able to get him to die. Not quite, but almost there. If that had a crit, maybe, maybe it would have... He's going to use Sustain, that's going to give them a defensive bonus, and it's also going to regenerate the last guy's health. So I want to make sure I kill him, and I'm going to use Arcane Bolt on him. And then, since I don't have any extra attack power on these guys, I'll just use my Lightning Bolt. Very nice. He's going to Ignite. And that'll do a decent amount of damage. Then I'm going to use this guy, actually. I'm going to do a Feather Storm to get a really high combo rating. This is going to give me a 30% damage boost on my uh, Blobbert, who I can then use to do a pretty decent Arcane Bolt set of damage. 
really nice day. So that one took us three turns. Hopefully we get an egg out of this. It'll be quite nice. Hey, three turns. All right, cool. What do we get? Uh, just some copper and some gold. But um, one of the things I really like about this game is you don't have to worry about your creature's health. If, if you win a battle, they just they just get healed up, and that's that. Um, if they die, I think you have to use like a phoenix tear on them or something. Ah, so we got a cestus. So that is a piece of equipment, I believe. Now, the cestus gives us uh, what looks to be damage and defense. Now, I think this guy's a little bit tankier. So I'd like to give it to Blobbert, although Birdman is pretty weak too, his defense is pretty low, this would really help him out. So I'll give him the Cestus, so that gives him a bit of power. And down in here, we can talk to this guy. My fellow keeper, did you know that every single one of your monsters possesses a special ability? Some can be used to get rid of certain obstacles, also you might encounter some destructible walls like the one behind me. Go and try and hit it with some of your monsters abilities. Usability. Yes, this is what I was talking about earlier, and I happen to know that the bird ability won't break this, but the blobs bubbles should. And we got some hide. I think I might give that to um, I might give that to Blobbert to tank him up a little bit because that'll give him health and defense and get him to be about on par with this guy. I think this guy's a little bit tankier. Mm, no, I think Blobbert's more tanky now, but I think the other guy does more damage. We'll talk to this guy. Hey friend, you're just starting as a monster keeper. Did you find some equipment for your monsters already? You can make your monsters stronger by equipping them. Yeah, this is basically tutorial-y stuff. And here is a kunai, which gives us magic regeneration. And I think I don't mind giving that to Blobbert. It'll give him a bit of mana regen. And <laughs> a funny thing, I actually know for a fact that you actually can't reach up here unless you happen to have a bird. Oh, didn't quite get it there. Let me try from here. There we go. And this was a Pandora's box. I'll give that to Birdman. And what the Pandora's box does at the start of every battle, you will gain a random buff for the duration of that battle. So here's the first bird that we might have a chance of getting. So they are weak to wind and earth, which are not spells that we have, but we do have, or, or, or earth isn't, but we do have wind, so we might be able to do a lot of damage to the blob. So if we check, yeah, fire could do a lot of damage here. I could do an arcane bolt on the blob. Sure. And you can see my um, my guy has a buff. I don't know. There it is. He has a 20% chance to dodge physical hits, which is pretty good. We are going to do a lightning bolt because it's uh, more mana efficient, cheaper, and it will do about the same amount of damage. And we got a kill on our first turn. So he used the Might spell that gives um, him bonus damage. And I think... I think I'm going to do an Arcane Bolt into Explosion here to try to kill this guy in one turn. I don't know if I'll be able to pull that off. Ah, there we go. Nice. Th so we should get a Rare Drop from here, because I feel like we did that really well. Yeah, four stars is great. Mm, we just got an Apple. But we do get a level up on both of our creatures, which is exciting. All your, as your monsters gain experience in combat, they will increase in level. This allows them to gain new skills. You should take a look at the skill tree menu, and we will in fact do that. So if we go ahead and check out Blobbert here, we can see that he has Arcane Bolt, and then there's an upgraded version of Arcane Bolt. Now, the mana cost goes up, but its damage goes up significantly as well. It goes from 160% of his magic, uh, which is 54, to 200% uh, of his magic, which is really nice. We also have Bubble Burst here, which is a water-based spell. Um, that's pretty good. It's kind of mana expensive, which can be a bit of a problem. We have a higher level heal. Then we have combo healing, which it basically makes your healing more mana efficient, which is quite good too. Uh, then we have slime shot here. This applies poison. I actually really like slime shot. It's one, I think it's one of my favorite spells because it has a fairly high combo rating and it applies a debuff. Um, Sorcery, then we have Defense, this will increase the defense of your monster. Then we have Sorcery, which provides a magic damage boost, right? Uh, yeah, magic skills deal 20% more damage, so that's quite a good one as well. Then over here, we have Acid Rain, that applies an Armor Break debuff, which reduces the opponent's damage reduction by half. So this one's actually really important to get, in my opinion, for increasing the damage. It also has a fairly decent combo rating and damage. Uh, then we have Health Plus, increases your health. 
And then the mana upkeep increases the mana regeneration of your whole party. I really like Blobbert. He's a really cool... Uh, I really like the Blobs. I feel like they're a really kind of core part of your early game party. So just uh, to point out there, we got Acid Rain because it makes uh, it makes you do more damage. Then uh, we have Birdman. I could get Explosion 2, which would add a 50% bonus damage to the thing. It would make it cost 30 more mana, or we can improve our attack rating. This is... Explosion is physical damage and not magical damage, so that's worth keeping in mind. Although we do have relatively balanced magical and physical damage right now. We could also get crit chance, we could get attack rating, we could improve our magic rating. Apply a shock debuff to a random enemy at the start of combat. Oh, I actually really like that. That's another way for us to get efficient damage. Uh, this would just give us a decent... A bonus to the damage of the spell. Then here, at the start of combat, apply shield equal to 60% of the attack and magic value. Oh, a hybrid shield. That's quite good. And we have Feather Storm here. This would give us just more damage on our Feather Storm. We have Mana Plus. We have Might. I'm not going to look at these level 10 ones. I'll show you those later when we eventually get to them, if we get to them. We have a Might here. This applies a Might buff to the whole team. We have the... Uh, power buff it is basically an improved version of the might buff because it gives an extra monster the sorcery buff um, then we have double impact uh, when exploiting an enemy's weakness with an attack trigger an additional 50 percent damage hit and then we have a health up so i'm thinking i actually really like this initial shock thing because it would mean we just do more damage um so i'm gonna grab that that's pretty powerful in my opinion one of my favorite things to do is to jump around and fly with my, my bird pets. Uh, man prospered through generations, founded cities and nations, con connected by dirt and wheel, and later by steam and steel. I love these little uh, little things hanging around that give you more information and backstory about the game. We've got a bracelet. This gives us some defense and mana regeneration. Uh, I think I'm going to give that to my bird because he's a little bit less tanky than I'd like him to be right now. We'll kind of come down this way. All right, there's a chest here. Uh, this one just gave us some money. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's see here. Right is the Keeper's Stronghold and left is the Keeper's Trail. We can't actually go to the Keeper's Stronghold yet because we're supposed to go down the Keeper's Trail and find Old Buren. We're going to head down because, of course, you never want to go the way that the game is telling you to go. You always want to go the other way because there's always goodies hidden down the alternative paths, right? That's what we want to do. All right, let's go down the uh, Keeper's Path. Um, looks like we're going to run into some more birds. You can avoid combat if you're careful, but sometimes it's difficult. These guys are weak to earth and strong against wind, so we're going to want to use our fire attacks. Right, there's the shock. I could do an acid rain here. And then um, I could almost certainly kill this guy in one turn if I do an acid rain. And then do an explosion. That should completely shatter him. Nice. So he used power, so he's going to do more damage. Let's go ahead and do another Acid Rain on this guy to bring down his armor so we do more damage with our explosion. There it is. He's going to use Feather Storm. We take a bit of damage. That's okay. Uh, now we're going to use our Slime... And I think we'll just use Arcane Bolt to finish him off. Very nice. Hey, four stars. Oh, uh, no egg, though. Uh, we're still doing fine. Oh. I believe there's a chest at the end of these jumping things. And this is a vital ring. I'm going to give this... I could also give apples to people. Uh, I'm going to give this to Birdman. I want him nice and tanky because his defense is relatively low. We'll head over here. Should be some... I'd like to get one of these guys. I've never... The last time I played, I didn't get a Rocky, so I'd like to try and get him. So it looks like the buff we got is Glory, which gives us a better crit chance. Uh, what are the weaknesses here? Weak to fire and water, so I think. Let me see here. If I did an acid rain on this guy, he would almost certainly die. 
uh, once I do an explosion on him. Especially with the sh- No! Oh crap! I used it on the wrong guy. Okay. That sucks. Because now he's- yeah, he's gonna give him defense. Damn it. I double tapped spacebar by accident, so- oh well. It's not the end of the world. Let's do an acid rain to boost our damage. And then hopefully an explosion. If we crit here, that would be nice. No, I'm not quite. Take a bit of arcane bolt damage. It's okay. Yeah, we kind of messed up. It's, it's not a big deal. I mean, it, it hurts our score at the end, but it, it doesn't really change the game. The outcome of the fight. Very nice. And then we are going to just do a lightning bolt. Yeah, I accidentally used the, the wrong spell on him. It's unfortunate. It's not the end of the world, though. No egg, unfortunately. Have to keep keep looking out for those. It's like we did find some chests. We found an orb. This makes more of a spellcaster, and this makes uh, more of a defender. So let's equip this guy with. I'm pretty sure his spells don't really do. Um, any physical damage, right? Yeah, it's all magical damage. So the Blobbert, we want to give um, him the orb here because that it will, increase in, it will increase his magic over his regular attack, which is what we want for him. Now, Birdman, actually, we do want to keep him using a balanced weapon because he has both... Um, he has both magical and physical spells, so I kind of want to make sure I don't I don't neglect either, because I think you know it will just hurt me too much if I if I focus on one. Although physical would I do tend to use the physical a little bit more, so maybe I could go ahead and get a physical um, weapon on him. Sure, we'll, we'll we'll focus on physical with Birdman. Uh, let's go ahead and fight these guys. I really want one of these rocky guys. So there's shock now lightning no i want to use feather storm because it's a magical one so i think i could do acid rain or i could do arcane bolt to just soften this guy up i think i'll do arcane bolt and soften him up and then hopefully feather storm if we get a crit that'll finish him off what buff do we have here regeneration okay let's do a feather storm and if we get a couple of crits it'll uh there we go, just about, just about got him. And we are going to do a... What are you weak to? You're weak to fire, so I'm going to do an acid rain to lower your armor and then hopefully do an explosion on you to try and uh, get you finished off pretty quick here. Nice. If we had a crit there, it would have been a dead guy, but didn't quite manage to crit. He's going to hit us for a punch combo. And we'll just explosion him again because we want to do that nice overkill damage to get extra points and have a better chance of getting an egg. Come on, four stars. There we go. Give me my egg. Ah, yes, we got a rocky egg. Very nice. That's what I was actually hoping for. But it was the only monster that I hadn't actually seen before. So we're going to spawn a rocky. And I will call this... Uh, Oddish, just for the fun of it, because I did, I did like Pokemon was one of the very first games that I really got into and actually completed. We have potato and apples here. Uh, Oddish, let's make sure we give you any equipment we have. Let me just double check what your skills are actually. So we have here a physical damage spell, a physical damage spell, and then we have a magical damage and a magical. Now restore. Wait a minute. There's heal and restore. I think restore is like a more mana inefficient one. 30 mana for 180% magic value. Whereas restore is 40 mana for 150. Oh, and it also removes a debuff. Ah, okay. That could actually be really, really useful. Let's take a moment here to look at Oddish's spells and abilities. We have here improved attack rating. Uh, we could also level up his punch combo to do another hit. 
which would increase the combo power of this guy. It wouldn't mean we need more mana, so we'd probably need to get mana plus. Um, we could upgrade Leaf Slash. We could get Spore, which would apply the weakness debuff, which means they deal less damage. We could get improved mana regeneration. We could get crit. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to go punch combo and mana plus. Although, channel means you use less more mana, which is quite nice too. Um, we'll maybe get channel if we start running into mana problems. But I think, yeah, I like the idea of going like punch combo plus mana plus. So this guy can just do a lot of damage and have higher regeneration on his mana. So he's going to be kind of focused on dealing out lots of physical damage. So I might give him the physical weapon. And give back Birdman a um, a more balanced weapon like the uh, like the Cestus. Uh, the mana regeneration will be quite nice too. And we'll give Oddish the Morning Star, which would heavily focus him towards the physical realm. And let's go ahead and get our skills going in here. So we picked up Initial Shock, which I think has been paying off pretty well. Um, explosion wouldn't be bad to upgrade. I'd, I would kind of like to get this spell right here. The 20% more damage on physical spells, especially since I'm going kind of a physical route with a couple of my guys. I think that could be pretty good. And then if I had Oddish in the back of my party, if I went for power, that would give him sorcery, which would work really nicely. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pick up Might here. And then I'm going to rearrange my party so that Blobbert is in the back, Oddish is in the front, and Birdman is uh, in the middle. I'm also going to take the Vital Ring off of him and give it to Oddish just so he has a little bit more health. He has really good defense, but I'd like from, for him to have a little bit more health just to be uh, on the safe side. And now we'll move on here. Oh, okay, let's check this out. Uh, man plunged into deepest abyss, forged, attacked, and slew. Those endeavors were without solace. The cost on humanity nobody knew. So sort of piecing together a little bit of the storyline as we go throughout the game. I I'm kind of guessing humanity kind of did like a, a Minds of Moria delve too deep and too greedily uh, sort of situation here. So this is a map. It's a teleporter thing that you unlock. This is a teleporter stone. You can use it to travel quickly to other teleporters you find. Me, I'm just a treasure hunter. I make a business selling the things I find here. Want to buy something? We'll have a look. Uh, the sustain ring would be quite nice for that new guy I got. So I might grab a sustain ring and a shell would be quite good as well. So I think I'm going to grab a shell and a sustain ring and then I'm going to equip the sustain ring on this guy so that he has more mana regeneration because that's going to be his big problem is mana regeneration. And then we'll give Blobbert a uh, shell here to make him a little bit tankier. And then that should be us. I know for a fact that I need like a fire fire monster to be able to uh, get through this because I I've, I've been here before. What's over this way? Uh, looks like some Rockies and a thing of some sort up here. This is a bandana which gives us mana and crit chance. Well, actually, you know who I want to put that on? I think I want to put that on Oddish because I'd like him to crit more often because he's going to be hitting a lot with physical damage. And the extra mana also goes well, because he has pretty low mana and pretty low mana regen. So I want that to be something that I focus on. Now I only have three monsters, so I don't need to change my lineup. Looks like we got the glory buff, which gives us extra damage. Um, do I want to use the punch combo? This would get my combo rating up for the bird, for Birdman to do his thing. So I'm going to do a punch combo here see if I can't use explosion well let's do an arcane well acid rain I think I'll do an acid rain on this guy to get him prepped for the next round of damage and then the explosion should kill this guy nice ouch leaf slash so that's a 20% damage buff on the next guy all right, uh, let's see. Let's do Acid Rain first. Since it, it's a relatively weak attack. Then I want to do a punch combo on either or of these guys as we find. I'll do it on this guy. 
And then hopefully the explosion will just about kill this guy. Not quite. We'll have to do one more round. But that's okay. Probably would have been better to kill off one of them, but... Eh, you know. Let's do explosion here for the overkill damage. And then we will do punch combo here for even more overkill damage. Which will hopefully get us another egg. Ah, we got a potato and some gold. And Blobbert leveled up, which is really nice. Let's go ahead and have a look at Blobbert's skills. So, last time we picked up Acid Rain. I'm tempted to pick up a higher level of that. I think Mana Upkeep is pretty good too. Um, I would like to have access to a water... Uh, another water spell, but I would also really like to have access to an earth spell if I need it. Plus, this has a relatively high combo potential, and it applies a poison debuff, which is really, really strong. So I think I'm going to pick that up um, to have the potential to do earth damage uh, on demand. Let's jump around this room and see if we can find any... Ooh, goodies up here. So this is a phoenix tier, which allows you to re... re um, uh, blah, 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 blah. You know, like a you know, like a phoenix down in Final Fantasy. It lets you wake someone up from death, kind of. Well, I don't, I don't think they die, or maybe they do. I don't know. Okay. Oh, hello, chest. And the bird makes it way easier to get these ones. Oh, an impact ring. Now let's give that to Oddish. Oh, he already has enough spells. Well, I'll give it to Birdman then. We'll jump around a little bit. Alrighty. We'll head over here. So I definitely still need a fire... Um, a cinder worm or whatever they're called. But I definitely need someone who can do the fire spells. One of these guys is what I want. Magma pillar, that's the one. Let's start combat here. And we started with this. I'm going to do the might spell to increase the damage of all of our guys. And I'm going to use my buffs first, because buffs don't actually do damage, but they do give you combo um, combo stuff. Now, these guys are weak to water, so if I were to do an Acid Rain on this guy, it would really put him in bad shape. And break his armor, and then we should be able to kill him with a punch combo. And you always want to try and get kills because monsters can heal and they can use buffs and they can do all sorts of stuff that makes it harder to kill them. What? It's like weird. The thing just popped up on me. I'm sorry about that. I'm not going to really be able to edit that out because it's, it's just baked into the video now, I guess. Uh, we're going to do now. You probably hear that another couple of times, unfortunately. So we're going to do an Acid Rain here. That'll do an Armor Break on this guy. And then we're going to do a Punch Combo. No, I'd like to get his, I'd like to get my combo rating up higher. This is a physical spell and you have a physical boost, right? Yeah, do slightly more damage with the Feather Storm. And then the Punch Combo should kill this guy. Very nice. He's going to do an Arcane Bolt. Ouch. We are going to do a... Acid Rain... Into... Punch Combo, because that'll increase the uh, thingy. Oh, God. Okay, I'm going, to try to, I'm going to try to mute that. Hold on. So we got four stars. We did not get a magma pillar or whatever they're called. Unfortunately. Let's keep scouting around. All right, cool. I found another chest. Crit ring. Ooh. Equipment oddish. I guess you don't. Do I want to crit damage or crit chance? Uh... I'll give you the crit ring for now. I don't really have anyone that's super viable on... Oh, a Cat Zerker! The Cat Zerker is like one of my favorite monsters in the game. I like to call him Meowth when I catch him. I really hope I catch him this time. So, uh, the Cat Zerker is weak to Earth, and we do now have an Earth spell, which is really cool. Uh, the other guys are weak to um, Wind. So we have all those spells. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the Might buff to give all of my guys more physical damage. Then we are going to go over to... Uh, 
Blubbert, and we will do a slime shot on the Cat Zerker to poison him. Then I'll do a punch combo to finish him off. Probably a bit of a waste of debuffs to have them all land on the same guy, but eh, not a big deal. Ouch, that bubble burst is going to hurt because he's weak to that. Uh, let's see. These guys are strong against that, so I think I'm going to poison the guy in the back. Then we're going to do a Feather Storm here, because that'll increase my combo rating up to 10. And then this guy should die to poison, right? If I get a crit or two. Okay, he should die to poison. And then a punch combo here with a couple of crits would be perfect. Ah, he didn't quite die. Hopefully he doesn't heal, because that would be very annoying. And they healed. Okay, I'm actually going to heal myself as well. I should be able to finish those off. Then I'm going to use a punch combo to finish this guy off. And I will use a feather storm to finish this guy off. Very nice. No cat zerker egg for me, sadly. We did get a couple of level ups though, which is exciting. Let's go into our skill points here. Here's Oddish. Uh, so we kind of went down the physical path. I could continue to sort of power up his physical abilities, which I think is actually a perfectly reasonable thing to do here. Um, even more attack, I think, would make him just a real powerhouse here. And the extra crit chance could be good too as well. We'll kind of explore his build a little bit more. Uh, yeah, I want to get sorcery here. Because this is going to make using his buff action at the start more efficient. And it'll also increase the combo rating of using that buff action. Because technically it'll be giving 4 buffs instead of 3. Which is a 5% damage increase to all monsters that move after him. But then came the 4 free from greed or any of Who listened to the voice within. Struck with a wound to the realm's core. Um, I think the 4 are the spirit monsters. Uh, now I'm curious. Oddish, can you break this? No, I haven't figured out how to break those things. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> um, let's go up. See what's up top. Because going down is harder. Or going up is harder. That's what I meant to say. Okay, we got a smoke bomb to retreat out of combat. And we'll go explore over here. I happen to know that this is a bridge that you can accidentally fall through, <laughs> which has happened to me. Um, and there should be some yetis over here that we can fight. But I will get the loot first. Plus 20 mana regen, or plus 20 mana and 10 mana regeneration. That's going to be quite nice. And we've got some potions. I think I'm going to give Oddish uh, the tome instead of the sustain ring. Then I'm going to feed him a couple of apples, because I am concerned about his mana. He's going to be pretty mana intense. Uh, he's going to be a mana intense character. So let's fight these guys. These guys are quite tough. I find them to be actually quite difficult. They are weak to fire, which is in my advantage. So let's start combat. We are going to do a power buff to open up the combat. It's going to cost me a lot of mana on that guy. I might have to upgrade his mana too. Then we're going to do a slow... Do I want to do a slime shot? I think I'm going to poison these guys because they tend to regenerate a lot of health. So I'm going to poison this guy. And then this should be a kill if I get a crit or two. Okay, no crits, but it was a kill. There's the poison. He's going to channel, which makes them more mana efficient. And then they do some damage. Alright, so we're going to open up with a... I think these guys are... Yeah, we're going to open up with a slime shot just to get the poison going. And get our combo rolling. 
Then we're going to do a punch combo on this guy. And then we'll do an explosion on this guy to get them both pretty low. Nice. See, they regenerate, so that's annoying. And the poison kind of helps counteract that. Ouch. Ice hail hurts, but... Eh, they, these guys don't really have a whole lot of offense. They just have a lot of health, and they take a while to kill. It should be fairly straightforward to kill them. We'll do an explosion on this guy to get the nice overkill. And then we will do a punch combo on this guy to finish him off. Probably would have been better to do that the other way around, I think. Um, just to get a higher combo rating. Four stars? No Yaoi Egg, sadly. But Blobber did level up, which is always nice. Let's go ahead and have a look at the skills. We could upgrade Acid Rain. Let's see. Uh, this hitting an extra time would be nice. Upgrading heal would be pretty good. I think I'd like to get mana upkeep to keep my mana pretty strong. Bubble burst would give me a source, another source of water damage that would be more about bursting rather than debuffing. So that would be quite nice to pick up as well. Um, combo healing, I'm not sold on. I get magic rating. That would just overall improve all of these, all of my actions that I do with him. See, so yeah, I'm going to pick up Magic Rating here on this guy, just so that all, all of the things that he can do are better. It's sort of a more general improvement. And now this is a chest. Let's grab it. Ooh, Shell gives defense. I don't think I need that, though. There should be some cat zerkers down here or something. From this wound, rivers flowed and mountains grew mighty and cold. It is the only place any creature that lives in peace within its nature. Yeah, there's a cat circle here. Now the cat circle is actually the kind of hard guy that we want to take out. He does a lot more damage than the other ones. So there is shock. I think we're going to open up with your weak to slime. So we're going to do a slime shot on you. To get you uh, going. We could do a Leaf Slash. I'd like to upgrade Leaf Slash, actually. Um, it's probably what I'm going to do next with Oddish. But I'll do a Punch Combo. Because, well... Yeah, it has a higher combo rating. And I'll just punch this guy a bunch. Hopefully get him down into Explosion Death range. And there it is. We'll explode him. We didn't do Might this time as a buff. Which I guess you could say is a mistake. Okay, he's going to heal up. He's going to glory cast. That sh Yeah, that'll give them... They're going to do a lot more damage now in terms of crit. Uh, let's see. Let's get the combo rating up, I think. I think I'm going to do... Even though he's not weak to Acid Rain, I think I'm going to do it to lower his defenses, because these guys actually have fairly decent defenses, from what I remember. Then I'm going to do an Explosion. And a Punch Combo. To finish him off. I did say I wanted to take out the Cat Zerker, but because I damaged him first, he spent some time healing himself, so he's less dangerous. He does have the potential to crit pretty hard, but he's doing healing, which is kind of what we want him to be doing. Uh, let's see. I think I'm going to do Acid Rain, because it'll make him take more damage. Which is always nice. We'll do a Punch Combo. And then we'll do a explosion to finish him off. Get that nice overkill damage. There we go. Now we got a five star game. We took almost no damage. We did 30% overkill. We did it in three turns. And we got a Yowie egg. Yes. I love the Yowie. He's one of my favorite. Um, one of my favorite monsters too. Let's go ahead and go into our inventory. We'll hatch the Yowie egg and we'll kind of take a look at his skills. I'd like to show you pretty much everything this demo has to offer. 
So we will call him the Abominable Snowman, but we'll just call him Abom... I don't even remember how to spell it. Abominable... Abominable? I don't know if I'm spelling that right, but that's the name I'm giving him. Uh, now, we have some berries, which will give us crit damage, mana. So I think I'm going to give an apple to Birdman because his mana is pretty low as well. And I'm going to give health to the Abominable, and I'll show you why. Because when we go into his skills, you can see here he has a... It's somewhere in here. Here it is. Uh, it is an aura where all monsters in the party heal for 10% of this monster's max health at the start of each turn. So you want to get this guy's health up really high. We're going to go ahead and grab channel, and then we'll grab supply. This guy's going to be basically passive healing, and... He's going to be replacing Blobbert in our lineup when we need a tanky guy. We will also be, later on, I am going to be picking up Taunt to make sure this guy can um, absorb more damage. He has a 25% chance to redirect an attack to himself when another monster is attacked. And then he has a health proc, which every time he attacks has a chance to heal himself with a base damage uh, equal to 10% of his own max health, which is pretty good. He doesn't do a huge amount of damage, but he can... You know, He's pretty good at taking damage and doing, doing fun stuff like that. Uh, let's see here. Neutral affinity. Neutral attacks. Do more damage. That's interesting. He does have some really cool stuff later on. Um, but he's, you know, he's fairly standard stuff. He's basically a tank. Um, I think would be an accurate way. Do I want to go... Yeah, I guess we'll go visit this guy right now. I don't know if we'll do the second half of his challenge. If it isn't an old friend of mine, hey Buran, long time no see, I've bought you a new student. He just hatched his first monster, there's ought to be time to teach him some lessons. So you're the respectful keeper, huh? Folk call me old Buran. Uh, I've made my home at the end of the keeper's trail so I can teach all of you greenhorns about your new duties as fully fledged monster keepers. But first, let's battle to see if you're worthy of the title. So he's gonna kind of bring us into a little battle here. Always observe your enemies carefully. Some say the outcome of battle is decided before it even begins. Since I raised these blobs myself, they're a little stronger than the ones you've seen so far. As you can see, their level is much higher. Uh, you can also see your weaknesses and resistances to your enemies. My blobs are weakness to wind attacks. Now the problem, yes, his blobs are weak to wind attacks, but they are strong against my birdman. So I think I'm going to take the abominable uh, Oddish and Blobbert in this battle. Um, what we're going to open up doing is... I don't want to do a channel... They're strong against that. I'm going to just focus on doing a lot of physical damage, I think. Uh, so we're going to do... Is it worth it to do Acid Rain? It won't do a huge amount of damage, but it will lower the resistance of these guys. So I think we'll do that. Won't do a huge amount of damage, like I said. That's the combo counter. This is where you teach me about the combo counter, which I've already kind of talked about. Every action you do in combat will increase the combo counter based on how often you hit your enemies or heal their buffed your allies. This will increase the damage of the following attacks. The combo counter resets after every turn. So it makes sense to always try to act with your weaker defensive or, or assisting monsters first and use it use high hit count actions. This will maximize the damage of your offensive monsters that act later. That's why um, that's why I've been using um, Blobbert earlier in the games where he does debuffs. So this guy does sort of my main damage. Uh, so I'm going to use beating here to increase my combo rating so that he does more damage. And you can see now he's going to do a significant amount of damage. We have a 35% damage increase on this guy's abilities. Which is a pretty decent amount. There's Arcane Bolt. Hitting my tanky guy. Bubble Burst. And Bubble Burst. Oh, I forgot to give him anything. So we're going to do a heal here. On the Yeti. To bring him up to a little bit of a healthier state. Then I think we're going to do a beating on this guy to get our combo rating up a little higher. And then we'll do a punch combo here. They should do a bit more damage to us, but we should uh, pick up some... Hopefully it doesn't hit the Yeti again. Okay. But I'll have to heal him again. That, that free healing from the Yeti is quite nice, but I do need to get his defense up. So let's heal the Yeti. So this is kind of a, a standard sort of healer tank. Um, uh, DPS uh, sort of group that I like to run. Sometimes you don't need to bring a tank. I don't think it's it's necessary, but I think it, it could be quite good. We'll do a punch combo on this guy. And hopefully they don't do any healing, because they would probably have really strong healing, which will be a problem for me to deal with. 
That looks like they're just spreading their damage out, which means I won't have to heal much this round because I have the passive healing. Uh, let's do Acid Rain on this guy to bring his defenses down. Obviously, it's not going to do a huge amount of damage, but it will bring his defenses down to the point where we should be able to get a punch combo on him to almost kill him. Maybe a crit or two? Yes, we got a crit. Very nice. Okay, we shouldn't have to heal again. Uh, let's go ahead and do an Acid Rain here. This will bring his health down a bit. And mostly we're looking for that debuff. Then we're going to do a beating. And we will do a punch combo. Let's do Arcane Bolt into a beating into a punch combo. Very nice. Looks like we won the battle. Now, we did take quite a while to beat it, but it's okay. That was a harder battle than we should be expecting normally. We've got a couple of level ups. Uh, not bad. Not bad at all. You've walked the Keeper's Trail and you defeated my monsters. However, to become a Monster Keeper proper, you need to complete one more test. Young Keeper, the next ch test will be much more challenging. You should prepare for it first. If your monsters have any free skill points, use them now and use them wisely. I'm actually going to come back. I'm going to run around a little bit outside uh, and see if I can get a couple more monsters, maybe level up a little bit before I go do that challenge because it's, it's actually quite tough. Um, So on Oddish, I would like to get Leaf Slash up to at least comparable to Punch Combo. Uh, because it is physical damage, I'd also like to get the crit here. Um, plus 5% crit chance would be pretty nice for his DPS, actually. Would bring it up to a pretty reasonable amount. It's probably like a 10% DPS increase or something like that, or 5% DPS increase, roughly. It's kind of hard to know exactly. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take the crit chance, just to increase his overall DPS. And then on Birdman... A double impact could be pretty good. Let's have a look around here. Crit, we can upgrade Explosion. I think it might be time to upgrade some of these spells. Getting Hybrid Shield could be quite good too to get um, a boost to his defensiveness in the start of a battle. Uh, I don't have a problem with mana right now. I could do more damage. Crit would be okay. Attack rating. I could also go attack and magic. I think... I kind of like double impact because it just gives me a 50% extra damage when I'm exploiting someone's weakness. And we do have two uh, pretty common weaknesses as our elements. So I'm going to grab double impact. Um, and I'm going to save and quit here for now. And we're going to call that the end of this episode of uh, Let's Try the Monster Sanctuary demo. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. We will be coming back and playing more of this. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to see more from... Uh, or if you want to support the channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback on the game. Don't forget this game is on Kickstarter. And you should back it if it looks interesting to you. I have already backed it. And I am super excited about it. I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.